Hello everyone, my name is Lenzy6 and today I'm going to show you how to convert your saves from Victoria 2 to Hearts of Iron 4. Now the link to this will be in the description, I'd recommend going to that link rather than trying to search it because it's really difficult to find if you do an internet search. Just go on that link in the description and it will take you to this thread. And then when you get to this thread, the first thing you'll want to do is, under most recent release, at, this, at the time making this video that's 0.1 but it could be any number, click that and it will scroll you down to here and it will tell you what you need to do. So it just has download, you just click download and that takes you to this page here. And then once you get to here, all you do is go to the download file which will be something along the lines of vic2 to hoi4 dash the version number as you saw on here at the top. It'll be the same number as that one, hopefully. Um, dot zip. So you, you click that then you download it as you normally would, however you do in your browser. So once you've got it, you extract it as you do any zip file, and then you run the converter frontend.exe, and it gives you something that looks like this. Put it pretty simple, there's nothing you need to worry about, so if we just click next, it takes you to this. And again, there's lots of stuff here you don't really need to worry about. Most of this will be automatically looked for. So I'll just explain what each thing is. This is saying where your Victoria 2 game is. This is saying where the documents file. This will be a file in your My Documents that stores some extra information. Um, then this one is Hearts of Iron 4. This one is... Um, well, that will be wherever you install it, so, you know, these are in different files because I installed them in different areas. Um, they'll probably be the same one for yours, roughly. You know, Steam, Steam Apps Common, whatever. If you've got the Steam version for Vicky 2, it'll be the same, or just... It doesn't really matter. Wherever it's installed, that's what needs to be in there. And Documents, same as with Vicky 2, probably the same sort of file paradox interactive and then mod directory for victoria 2 it will be in the same it will be within the game directory with for hearts of iron 4 it will be within the documents directory um again like i say most of this is already set up for you it's easy and then you've got converter.exe which is this file it should be where you extracted it where you extracted it to and then save game this is the part we'll need so if we click browse this takes you to your standard save game folder. Um, and this is all your vanilla saves. Now, if you're not wanting to convert a modded thing, if it's just a vanilla save, it'll be in here somewhere. If you want a modded save, then what you need to do is go back a step um, to Victoria 2, and then wherever, whatever it is in. So, say for example, we want to convert a pop demand mod one. It'll be, it's pops of darkness, so it's POD, and then save games. And then I choose one from here, and let's go for let's go for something that may actually work. <laughs> because, as I say, this is at the time of recording. This is quite experimental. It might not always work. So we'll just go for this one, India 1911. See if that works. So just click open. Wait a second for that, and it will open up there and say that. And the red border that was around here is gone. So now we click next, and this is the important part if you're doing a modded bit. If you're doing vanilla save, like I said, if there are no mods in your set that were used to make your save, don't put anything here. If you did, then you need to put something there, but it can be confusing. So you might think, since the file we got the save from on here says POD, that we want to put in POD. But if you do that, it won't give you anything. The file, what it's looking for here, in order to find that, what we have to do is we have to go to the Victoria, where it says Victoria 2 mod directory, click browse, then I'll just scroll down so you can see it. On mod, there's a little arrow, click that, and then all the mods have the file name here. This is what it's looking for. So since we're using the pop demand mod, we want, that's PDM. If you're using, say, a save that's been converted from EU4, it'll probably have a name like, say, York 1444-11, or underscore 11, underscore 11, something like that. That's what you're looking for. We don't need to select these, it's just so you know what we need to type. So we can cancel that, and we know that here, we need to type in PDM. So we do that, and then we click Next. And then this is the part that probably takes longer than anything else, which is waiting. And seeing if it works. It may not work, but we'll find out in just a second. So I'll skip ahead, and we'll see if this one worked for you guys. And if it works, that's great. If it um, doesn't, that's great too, because I can show you what it's like when it goes wrong. So, see you in a second. And there we go, and as you see, it took a whole two minutes from the start of uh, converting to actually sort itself out. But, you know, it takes some time, 
And yeah, and as you'll see, lots of things it's saying it couldn't do. That's because it's an early version, you know, etc, etc. But it worked. So what I'll do is I'll just bring up Hearts of Iron 4 so you can see it actually did work. So now you've got your save, what you'll need to do is, on the launcher for Hearts of Iron, click Mods. On here, you'll then need to scroll down and find the name of the one you put in. So the one we put in is India1911 underscore 04 underscore 02. It says it doesn't support the current version, that's just because it doesn't have the information about what version it supports. It will work. Or at least, it should work if the converter is the same version as the game. If not, the only thing you may have to do is change the version of the game that you're currently running, which can be done in Steam. It has if you go to the game and then uh, look at the properties for that game and one of the options under beta I believe it is um, or under one of the tabs anyway is the option to do um, other versions of the game and play older versions and so you might just have to go back to an older version if the converter hasn't been updated to the latest version of the game yet although hopefully it will be when you get to use it so we do is we click play it says outdated mods don't worry and that'll be completely fine so now all we need to do is test it out, go to single player, new game, select scenario, this is already looking like it's done something, and there we go, the world's in here, it's got all the stuff that was in the last game, you know, all that lovely stuff. So yeah, we can just try things out, have a go at the game, do whatever we want, and it's in there. The one thing I will give, just a little thing to say, if it doesn't work for you the first time when you put your save in, go back and check... If you've used a modded thing, make sure you've entered the right thing into the little box you had to fill in. Make sure it's the right name. Then, go back to... for anyone, even if you're not doing... even if it's vanilla, um, go back to the different um, folder locations and make sure they're the correct ones. Make sure where it says Victoria 2 directory, it is pointing to the folder where your Victoria 2 game is. When it says Victoria 2 Documents, it's going to the folder where um, it, your, my Documents folder for Victoria 2. Make sure it's going to the right stuff. And, you know, if if that's all done well, then, hey, good, good beans, bro. And, um, yeah, I don't think there's much else to say. I can only say thank you for watching. Oh, yeah, and sometimes it does these little things where it adds little extra things on here, which is kind of cool if you didn't know about that. Um... Yeah, I really hope this video has been useful to you. I would recommend, I mean obviously I made it so I'm going to recommend it, sharing this with people. Um, if they want to know about this kind of stuff, it might be useful to them. Um, and yeah, try it out, it's really fun. Ooh, they gave one to Britain this time. It changes who they actually give them to each time I do a different save. So like in one of the, in, uh, spoiler alert, <laughs> well, also self-plug, in a game I'm playing on YouTube, yeah, using this kind of special feature is very fancy. Um, Austria and Russia, at least at the start, had their own ones, but in this one it looks like Austria hasn't been given one, but Britain has. So, you know, lots of delicious little thingies like that. Let's see, did America get one this time? No. No. Oh well. Anyway, yes, thank you for watching, and until the next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.